Okay, everyone, we are here on part two of our engine sound dampening. And what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be installing this Dynamat. This is called the Hoodliner. So this piece is a 32 by 54 inch piece. It is, it has three quarters of an inch uh, sound deadening acoustic foam. It's got a peel and stick back to it, just like the Dynamat Extreme. It also has this nice little foil top to it. Um, so uh, the good thing is, since we already put the Dynamat Extreme up, we have a nice smooth surface just like this that we can stick this to. Um, also, if I wanna double this, say I wanna make it twice as thick, I can stick some more of this hood liner to this as well. So I think what our next step is, we're gonna go ahead and get in the boat, um, open the hatch up, and get this put up. I'm just gonna use scissors and a razor blade like I did before. One thing I will be doing is, where the edges are, I will probably be using some of that um, aluminum foil tape just to kind of keep this foam closed up. Um, you know, I don't know, I don't know, I just feel like that way dirt and grime doesn't get on it and everything else, and if it's completely taped over, um, it just make it last longer, so. That is the plan. So it is a nasty day out right now, unfortunately. So we'll see if we can get this done before the rain comes in. Here we go. Okay. So what I've done here is I made a template. I just bought construction paper at Walmart, taped it up there, and I cut it out. Um, I think this is going to be the best way to do it. This gives me an idea. It's got some marks so I don't get everything reversed. I know what the top is and the middle and everything else. So I think the first piece I'm going to do is going to be this piece, and then I'll do this piece. And then I'll come under and do these. So, just wanted to show you. This is how I'm getting started. I'm making a template. I feel like this is gonna be the easiest way to do it. And it'll get me close. And we'll go from there. So let's go in, let's go in the garage. We'll get this stuff cut. Yes! Okay guys, so what we're gonna have a little short intermission. Um, I'm gonna have to order another one of these because I just don't have enough. Um, what I have left to do is two of these panels. So I'm gonna have this for that side and flip it over for the other side. And then I'm gonna have that small piece um, in the very back. So I will have quite a bit left over. Um, you know, kind of perfect timing too, starting to rain a little bit as well. I can tell you 
from what I've done, I went ahead and fired the boat up, just sitting out of the water here, and oh my gosh, what a difference so far. So, probably, um, get everything ordered, get back to the video. Okay, so we're out here on the lake, and I can tell you right now, just with, watch out Daisy. Just with this amount, I'm gonna turn the camera around. Just with doing this right here, and nothing else has made a massive, massive improvement. And to verify that, hey Ange, would you say it is a noticeable improvement so far? Yeah. We can talk <laughs> Yes. Yes. So, and I'm not done yet, but you know, we came out to the lake and everything else, so I just wanted to, so far so good. So yeah, idling, it, I mean, it's close to a stern drive, so I do feel strong that once we get this done, it's gonna be nice and quiet. So that's it. So some final thoughts after what we've done so far. Number one, a massive improvement. It was completely worth the money to do this. Um, you know, even if you wanted to stop right now, I'm gonna keep going further, but if you wanted to stop with what I have done and that's it, you're gonna notice a huge improvement. Huge improvement. Uh, normal um, cruising speeds around 7,500 RPMs on our boat, which is around 25 something miles an hour, I believe, I think. Um, I can sit and talk just as I could talk on a stern drive or a V drive, direct drive boat. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Surfing, if you surf behind your boat, you know we have to run a lot more RPM. You know you're, we're around the 9,000 range um, on our boat with the MR1 engines. Thousand times quieter, oh my gosh. Uh, it is fantastic. The um, don't need nearly as much volume when running the stereo while un underway, which is a plus. Um, the drone from the engines being out of sync a little bit you can't, it is, it is barely noticeable at all. That I wasn't even thinking about when I was doing this. I was just trying to make it quieter. But if the engines are off a little bit, you kind of get that harmonic wah, 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 wah. That's gone. And I believe a lot of that has to do with the Dynamat Extreme, that first layer we put on. Uh, the hood liner, again, having that foil back to it, that is going to keep that foam from being exposed, and in my opinion, to keep it from crumbling and flaking everywhere, which is what the original stuff did, which is why I got rid of it in the first place. Um, you know, everything is stuck well to the boat. Um, I, I also plan on doing, probably in the middle, um, I'm going to do a second layer of that hood liner. Um, I, had, I, I ordered some more, I had it sitting in the garage, and once I finish that hatch, I'm going to add a second piece um, in certain areas. I want to make sure my hatch closes right. Stay tuned for that video. And then of course we're going to finish the very, very back where kind of the backrests are on the uh, swim platform and the sides. And I believe once that is done, this boat is going to be quieter than your stern drive and it is going to be well worth it. I'm not going to do underneath the fuel hatch. Um, the only reason I'm not doing that is because that fuel hatch has a wood core, and I don't want to stick that Dynamatic Stream to it and somehow trap water behind it. I don't know. I just don't think that for what the amount of material I'm going to need, money, it's not going to make a big deal. I believe all of it, everything is just isolated that engine bay, and um, just absorbing that sound the best we can is going to do it. Um, to be honest, right now where it's at, I am happy with it. Um, I can honestly. I can honestly call it quits. Um, you know, if you guys watching this video do just this, you're gonna be very satisfied with the results. So I hope all this helps. Watch for the next part. I'm gonna make a playlist. That way all the videos are there on what I did in order. And I hope you guys are enjoying the channel. More videos, more videos. Um, I get to things as quickly as I can. It's summer, we go out and enjoy ourselves too. So thanks for the support guys. See you in the next video. Bye. Jet boat, baby. Jet boat.